to another video from Free From Lifestyle. I hope you're all really well and that you've enjoyed today's video. So it's another Ninja 15 in one recipe and this is really lovely and easy. But I just wanted to show you how to make this using your Ninja because so many of us are still using our hobs. This is a great method for making some absolutely beautiful mashed potato. So this morning, I've actually been cleaning my Ninja. And if you want to know how to do that, then I will leave a link above now for you so that you can click on that video and watch that. I've had this on um, pressure and it's such a good method for cleaning it. There's very little scrubbing involved. So I'm just waiting for this to finish before we start cooking. I'm gonna begin this recipe by preparing some garlic. So I've just got some cloves here. I actually grew this garlic in my garden, which is really, really easy to do. And I've got two kilograms worth of white potatoes, which we're gonna peel and we're gonna dice. And then for flavorings, I've got chives, I've got salt, pepper, butter, some soft cream cheese, also got some grated cheddar. And we're gonna also need some vegetable stock, which is gonna help us when we pressure cook. And this is gonna really add extra flavor. So the last of the potatoes going in, they're all diced up and then I'm going to pop in the garlic cloves as well. So we need to make up 600 ml of vegetable stock, so I'm just going to boil a kettle. going to use a big jug here. And I like these vegetable stock pots that you can get that look like this rather than a cube, but you can use whatever you want to. Let's pop that inside. So we've made our stock, that's just dissolving in there. It might not all fully dissolve, but it really doesn't matter. So we're just, all we've got in here still is the potatoes and the garlic. So I'm gonna add some pepper into there and also some sea salt. Quite a lot of potatoes to so be fairly generous with the salt. And now we pour in our vegetable stock. I've prepared my butter, cream cheese and cheddar. So I've weighed those out. In the description below will be all the quantities for you. And then I've also got some chives for later as well. So we'll put those to one side. Let's go and get these potatoes on to cook. Okay, so let's open up the Ninja and put the pot inside and then close the lid. Gonna slide this over to the pressure cook option and we want this on quick release. Whoops, so there in the middle, quick release. And we're gonna leave this on high. It does seem like I'm cooking this for quite a long time. We're gonna be 15 minutes. But we want these to be so tender that there's literally no work at all to mash these. Make sure that your vent is on seal and press start. Just in case this is your first time using the pressure cook option on your Ninja, then don't worry, it will take a while to come up to pressure. So I need to wait, let that build up, and then it will count down for how many minutes you have chosen. I find it normally takes between five and 10 minutes to come to pressure. Okay, so that has just finished, and we just need to let the pressure release now before we can open it up. Now we can slide that across and open it up and have a look at what we've got. So let's test. Wow, these are so soft, They're only just holding together, which is perfect for making mashed potato. So we've got those pieces of garlic in here, which are all going to be mashed up together. There was some excess liquid in the bottom, so I have drained that off. Now, while they're still lovely and warm, let's pop in our cheeses and our butter. And that is gonna literally melt into here. It's personal choice what you wanna put into your mashed potato. But this is a good way that I have found. So now we just need to be gentle and just give these a mash until we have a beautiful creamy consistency. <laughs> This 
mashed potato is stunning. It took no effort at all to mash that up. It is super creamy and absolutely delicious with the garlic, with salt and pepper in there, the flavor from the stock. It is absolutely perfect. I'm gonna add a few chives on top. And there is my ninja mashed potato.